What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overlord here. So we're actually going to be talking about Friday the 13th in this video here again today. So Roy Lee is on a roll with the horror news today. Uh, in the same podcast, the Boo Crew, in, the, in an exclusive chat with Bloody Disgusting, gave us an exciting update on Friday the 13th. So... I guess his comment is indicating that we might be on the verge of a return to Crystal Lake in the very near future uh, with news coming very soon, according to what he had to say in this podcast. So we know what's been happening over the past couple of years with this or many years i'll say this one with sean cunningham and victor miller one owns the rights to the original screenplay the other owns the rights to adult jason Voorhees. so honestly neither one of them can make a I would say a movie that would satisfy the millions without working together because they'll have to leave out segments of certain things because they can't do what that person owns and the other one can't do what the other owns. It's just a complete mess. So they would have to come together to ultimately give people something overly satisfying, I would say, for most of the Jason Voorhees, Friday the 13th diehard fans, if that's who they want to want to pay attention to the most. So in a recent interview or again sit down on the boo crew podcast he said roy lee that being said that something or he said that that one is something that i would love to talk about you may be hearing something by years in on that front now here's the thing roy lee back in 2018 was announced to have some type of involvement with the friday the 13th franchise with him and doug davison's vertical entertainment attached to produce which was also then mentioning that at the time LeBron James was going to produce that as well through Spring Hill Entertainment. So are we going to get that team making a Friday the 13th movie? If so, then that's fine. I don't think many people care who it is at this point as long as what the script is looking like is something that will satisfy everyone. And does this mean that we are indeed going to get news of an announcement of a new film coming? Maybe. Seems like it. Uh, that's the thing that obviously many people will jump to because we're all hungry for a new Friday the 13th movie. Uh, I wouldn't say I'm necessarily starving for one, but it has been a good good long while since I got my Jason Voorhees fix. It's been 13 years at this point. It'd be nice to see the hockey mask face man back. <laughs> uh, so with Jason Voorhees on the verge of potentially returning, what would they do? Honestly, I'm just thinking to myself, should you just do a straightforward reboot again? Modernize it, set it in 2010s, 2020s, and somehow make that work and tweak certain things within the timeline to rationalize why Jason Voorhees is still around. Uh, or do you just set it again in the 80s or the 70s and retell that story with Pamela somehow and maybe throw in some new wrenches along the way? They could do so many different things. I know I have stated in the past, I would love to see a direct sequel to part six. Uh, I've talked about the storyboard that went on for that and the plans that the writer of part six had for that as well. So if we actually end up getting news about a Friday the 13th movie by the end of the year, something to announce that Jason is on his way back to the big screen. Honestly, I don't know what they would do. I don't know what they would do. They'd have to honestly announce it and we'd have to, you know, pick apart whatever it is that we can pick up on from what they tell us. Because at this stage, most people are in the, at, at the point where they just want Jason back. They don't care how he's back in the sense that, of course, they want something of quality. They don't care if it says in the 80s. They don't care if he said it in the 90s. They, they don't care. They just want Jason Voorhees back. So many people just want to see Jason Voorhees back on the big screen, stalking teens, haunting Crystal Lake and just causing havoc. I honestly would love for them to try to redo an iteration of him taking Manhattan because I know a lot of people think that Jason takes Manhattan was a complete disappointment and how it was presented and marketed and he ultimately ended up being in New York for maybe five or ten percent of the movie. A lot of people coined it Jason takes a cruise ship instead of Jason takes Manhattan. So maybe they could do something like that down the road if this ends up being the case of where Jason is back, the IP is revived, adult Jason is the one that we're actually going to be dealing with and you know down the road if this new iteration ends up being a success you can explore something like that again trying to have him go back to new york and do something that lives up to what many people wanted that 80s movie to be but as of right now 
what they could present to us now most likely the best thing probably would just be to do a complete reboot again do a complete reboot introduce all new characters you could tweak certain aspects of the pamela pamela Voorhees, jason Voorhees story maybe even toss in jason Voorhees' father add in a lot of other sick twisted elements to it to kind of make it fresh and not make a complete rehash of what you already had in 2009 and what you had in 1980 but start from scratch again and this would of course be a new timeline because i i think most people not most people but a lot of people honestly would prefer you do that anyway there will also be a lot of people who would prefer you do a direct sequel to jason x there are also a lot of people who would prefer you do a direct sequel to part six or part four you know so many different opinions out there but probably the safest thing to do if you're someone who doesn't want to dwell on already established continuity that you had nothing to do with start from scratch start from scratch throw throw adult jason in the mix tweak some aspects of his mother and father uh, tweak some aspects of his ultimate demise at crystal lake and maybe dive into that a little bit more in the movie let us learn a little bit more about what happened while he was at camp and see that depicted on screen a little bit more that's something i know that hasn't really been depicted the best across the series in terms of just dialogue and that brief flashback that we got or some type of dream sequence that we got in freddy versus jason so maybe they could do something like that with this new approach diving a little bit deeper into what went on that summer he was bullied and ultimately ended up drowning to death which we know he didn't drown he ultimately escaped and maybe we could go over how he lived out there in the woods for the, all those years stuff like that not that we need to see it but just some other details about what was going on so you guys can let me know what you think about this down in the comment section below do you think that his comments are indeed hinting at a new upcoming movie announcement about a new iteration of friday the 13th being on the way or do you think it's something else do you think that the new iteration will be include adult jason or do you think it'll be something new completely altogether and have nothing to do with adult jason or anything like that you can let me know all that down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe Turn on post notification you never miss a video. In the description, I will have links on my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there are any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.